Hey guys, it's John, also known as your Tennessee Flying Farmer on YouTube. Um, I haven't posted much in quite a while, and I want to apologize for that. I haven't kept you guys in the loop very well. Anyway, I'm building my second airplane, and I've been considering doing a something every day video, pictures, you know, something just to be able to, to pursue this. Got a buddy that did that when he built his Zenith, Vance Simons, and I really did enjoy watching his content, so... Um, Anyway, the Experimental Aircraft Channel has got the December build challenge. So I'm, I'm really considering maybe joining that challenge and see if we can't get something going every day. Um, anyway, let me kind of show you where I am and I'll give you, now that we've got a little bit of an intro out of the way, I'll show you what's sort of going on here in the shop and get started. Let's do this. This guy's good. Now, here's our farmer, John Humbred. Look at that! Oh my God! That was good. Whoa. So I built the Super 701 as my first airplane, built in Flyette, and it's been an absolute blast. Working on this second airplane, and it's it's becoming known as the 750 SD Extreme. A little more on that. The 750 SD is Zenith's uh, essentially a three seat. It's two seat with a jump seat in the back. It is a stole airplane that uses a pretty fat wing, um, uses a forward slat and a full span flapper on system. Like I said, this is a three-seater. You've got two seats up in the front, and you've got one. There will be a jump seat back here in the back. Um, you can see I've got the fuselage mostly. Well, it's going pretty good, actually. A lot of things in the works and going. I've got the engine off this thing again for, oh gosh, I don't even know how many times now. It's been off probably 50 times at this point. Anyway, I've decided to go with a 520T. It's a UL Power turbo engine, uh, capable of 220 horsepower. Power to weight ratio should be just uh, amazing on this airplane. But I haven't had it on scales yet. I'm trying to get far enough along so I can see how it's actually going to come out. There are a ton of things in the works, and well, a lot of stuff I've already done. Like I've fabricated an exhaust system for this thing, moved the wastegate from the left side of the engine over to the right side so I could make it all come out of a single pipe into a Y pipe layer. I've built a custom engine mount for this. It's a very short engine mount and unfortunately I don't have it mounted at the moment but I basically built that from scratch. It's kind of dirty. I've got a bunch of foam dust on it but I'll get it cleaned up and put on the airplane and kind of show you guys what it what it looks like here in the next few days. Um, not too far from needing to have it back on there so I can mock some more stuff up anyway. Anyway, the latest progress on it, I've really been working on the interior. I've got, of course, I've got some door structures going and I'm working on the door seals at the top. The other thing I'm really trying to push at the moment is this instrument panel. I've got a fairly unique instrument panel and the visibility should be just crazy on this thing because I've I've taken the, essentially all of the the extra bracing that comes with a standard panel that goes from side to side out, and I've, t I've removed it. I've put in my extra own bracing. Uh, it's going to be a single single pod right in the middle. Still doing a lot of planning, but anyway, I've, I've had to cut and trim and trying to get stuff, you know, custom made and fabricated has been a bit of a challenge. So one of the things I'm... I've been working on the last couple of days um, is the windshield and this thing has been actually kind of a, a challenge in itself to get to fit the way I want the corners it was I don't know it was spread just a little bit wide for for the chrome molly tubing on the the cabin frame so I've been whittling and I've, I've actually got a little heat gun and I've kind of heat relieved some of that The problem I've got with this airplane is I'm making so many crazy modifications to it. I've said over and over again, you know, if you're, if you want to build an airplane and you don't want to spend an astronomical amount of time building, just build it according to the plans and use what the factory's using on their, their demos basically, because they already, it's already been done and you can ask questions that they already know all the answers to and just build it and fly it. I mean, that's the basics of it. I, I've kind of. I kid, I've almost kind of made a mistake here and backed myself into a corner. I've, I've built this custom short engine mount and it's, it's making things just incredibly tight. And anyway, my goal for this airplane is to have it even cleaner, even nicer, even more comfortable, even a better power to weight ratio than what I, what I have with a Super 701. And 
that's that's turned into a pretty good challenge but i'm i'm working on it i'm one of those people that well i guess it's kind of a bad habit in the way i have a bad habit of multitasking so i had I had the fuselage going and i stepped in and started on the wings the the wings are basically ready for final rivet. All the lock on the wings is putting the, the wiring in and the fuel system in. There's one of the tanks. Uh, both wings, that skeleton's completely ready to final assemble. You can see I already got the the bottom skins riveted on and it's ready to wrap the front. This one's all been fitted and clecoed and it's, it's ready except for the fuel system and stuff. I've kind of waited to do that because I do live on the farm and uh, especially in the winter months, we have, you know, there's their mice moving in and that kind of stuff. And I don't want this wing to have any chance of getting rodents in it until I actually can hang it on the plane. So I've, I've kind of procrastinated with finishing it until I have the fuselage ready to hang the wings on. Done lots and lots of modifications. I mean, you, you can see the, the part, the time spent on some of these parts. I mean, I've, I've scalloped these things, I've cut, trimmed. I've shaved the weight off of everything I could. I mean, this, you can see some of it's, some of it's gone pretty extreme. Of course, you have to have to do this stuff and be very careful with what you do as far as structure goes, but in the areas that are not hardly as critical and not hardly as structural, I've, I've done a lot of things. Like I've had some extra, I've had some extra lightning holes and that kind of stuff in this airplane. Uh, the, the tank tank standoffs and that kind of stuff all those all those extra holes i've added just to try to lighten up and i don't know how much this stuff will actually add up to but you know it's everything's a little bit of a savings so i know this is a pretty short video but hopefully that's kind of gives you an intro of what i've got going on what's coming up um, i'll try to go over some more of these modifications as we get a little little further along and let you know sort of what's going on with it um for now, I'm going to get back to continue trimming and trying to make this windshield fit. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm kind of sitting here staring at different ways I can make the instrument panel and some of that kind of stuff actually come out. So let's get back to building. Thanks. See you.